To photographers, I wanna ask a question. What camera do you use? Sony, Canon, Fujifilm, Nikon, or Pentax? There's one thing in common among them. I know you know. Hey guys, today I'm gonna take advantage of being a Japanese photographer and give you guys 5 Japanese expressions to improve your photography. Since Japanese has 3 characters, it has so many unique expressions that at least English doesn't have and some of them can be applicable to photography. It's not gonna be technical but it's more like Japanese mentality. Of course I'm not at the level I can teach something to other photographers but I'm still learning and I just wanna share something helpful from my culture with other photographers. And if you are a photographer learning Japanese, you can kill two birds with one stone. So let's get started. Number one is Kaizen. Kai means change. Zen means better. Kaizen means change for the better. I think it's kind of popular expression even in English because of the Kaizen method from Toyota. Because of them, it's recognized internationally as a Japanese business method. But as a native Japanese, it's not that specific business expression. It's more casual daily use expression. No matter if you take good or bad photos, I think there are always points to change and improve because the art of photography is very delicate and consists of many elements like color, lighting, composition, story, and so on. It can be a tiny detail, but as long as you can find a point to change, your photo can get better and better. And you just gotta keep doing that no matter what level you are at. When you feel stuck out of ideas, lack of motivations, Word of Kaizen might help you to find things to change and go out and get some better shots. Let's keep Kaizen and grow little by little. Number two is Suki means like, jōzu means well. If you like it, you will do it well. If you like something, you wouldn't get tired of making effort to do it. You don't even recognize it as an effort. Then at the end of the day, you can do it well. If you apply it to photography, you can simply say, if you like photography, you can do it well. I think it's true, but there's another way to apply it. If you like photos you take, you can do it well. As long as you like photos you take, you can keep shooting and you can get better. Of course, there are some kinds of competitions, comparisons and reputations. And it's important to get inspired by other photographers. But ultimately, photography is you and photos you take. The best way to get better at photography is to like your photos and keep shooting. Sukikosomono no jōzunare. Number three is Nana Korobi Aoki. Nana means seven. Korobi means fallen. Ya means eight. Oki means standing. The literal meaning is seven times fallen, eight times standing. It says that each time you get knocked down, you should get up and keep going. The point is never give up. As you take photos, you take many ones you are not satisfied with. 
and you feel down and you feel like you're the worst photographer in the world and lose your motivation. Same here. Then you can remember the expression of Nanakuro Biaoki. Even though you fail seven times, you just get up eight times and you're good. Photography is kind of journey, not a sprint. It's a repetition of fail and get up and fail and get up. But as long as you don't quit, you're getting better and becoming a good photographer. Nanakuro Biaoki. Number four is Ichigo Ichie. It consists of four kanjis. Ichi means one. Go means time. Ichi means again one. E means meeting. Then the literal meaning is one time, one meeting. This expression was made with the Japanese tea ceremony culture. Refers to an event, this one time only and never again. That says, Every meeting can be once in a lifetime. You should cherish it. When it comes to street photography, I suppose you've experienced you've hesitated to take photos of something interested you. For some reasons, maybe you are too shy or the subject was too far away or you just didn't have a camera. For those moments, you gotta put the expression Ichigo Ichie in your mind. Every moment is a once in a lifetime. If you miss it, you will never get a shot. I know somehow you hesitated to take photos. I've done that a lot of times. So let's remember Ichigo Ichie and never miss the best shot. The last one is Junin Toiro. Ju means 10. Nim means people. To means 10 again. Iro means color. The literal meaning is 10 people, 10 colors. That means everyone is different and has their own opinions, ways of thinking, and likes and dislikes. 10 photographers, 10 colors. It's important to get inspired and influenced by other photographers. But you don't need to compare with them too much. You can just create what you like and develop your own style because Junin Toiro. I hope those expressions can help you to go out and take some photos. I also keep them in my mind and create more photos and videos. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. See you later. Sayonara.